and their impressive competition. Local high school students dance the night away for fun and fundraising. Their admission dollars will help find missing adults. Adults like Jason Knapp, a York County native who went missing near Clemson University 10 years ago. Basically, with no closure, you never forget, especially when it's your only child that went missing. Jason Knapp's parents are still waiting for answers as to what happened to their son, and their story inspired a local student to help. Fox 43's Angie Bodorf is at the YMCA in York, where teens are rocking out in Jason's honor. The music could be heard from a block away. Bands strumming, singing, and dancing. The benefit concert is the brainchild of Central York Junior, Lacey McIntyre. McIntyre is a reporter for her school's newspaper and recently interviewed the parents of Jason Knapp, a local man who went missing in college. It was an um, emotional experience. I didn't, expect, um, I didn't expect all the emotion behind that. I know it's been 10 years, but I know that the hurting is still there. When McIntyre approached Knapp's parents about holding the fundraiser, they were grateful. Missing adults do not get the publicity that missing children do. Kids paid five dollars at the door to get in. Bands played from two until nine. Along with the money raised from admission, Jason's parents are also selling cookbooks, t-shirts, pins, and giving out information on the annual golf tournament that benefits the Kristen Foundation. The Kristen Foundation is an organization that deals specifically with missing adults. The Kristen Foundation helps with expenses like billboards or traveling costs for people like Jason's parents. Jason went missing in South Carolina. Basically, with no cl closure, you never forget, especially when it's your only child that went missing. And that's another reason McIntyre spent countless hours on this effort. In York, Angie Bodorf, Fox 43 News at 10. Jason was a student at Clemson University when he disappeared. He was last seen hiking at a state park. Today marks his 30th birthday. Well, police in York County are on the lookout for two men tonight who they say...